Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number 11. Just have this war and one more, and then we're done. And we're going up against an alliance called Sandman 2. All right, so we're still in tier 3. So Corvus is not globally banned. Oh, but they got smart. They banned Corvus and Hulkling, as well as Maestro. Interesting. Okay, let's see who they've uh, lined my path with. Okay, so we already know we're bringing Magneto in for that one. Oh, okay. So Ebony Maw doesn't really benefit from the node, so just a good Ebony Maw counter is fine. Um, then we've got Gladiator who doesn't get armor ups. So also doesn't benefit from the node. So we just need a good counter there. Whoop. Um, so Magneto, Red Skull. All right, so we know we want to bring in Magneto. And as far as Ebony Maw goes, I can bring in Titania. I can bring in um, Ant-Man. I could bring in Spider-Man 2099. So let's... Because um, I actually like to fight him with one that is immune. Because when he does his special one, he'll put a buff on you. So it needs to be somebody that is actually immune, not that they just don't get buffs, but are actually immune to them. That makes the fight much simpler and easier. Or I could just bring in Nick Fury and uh, nuke him down. All right, let me see who he has assigned. So he, Human Torch, of course, with uh, Ebony Maw, but I don't like using human torch and not only that but i probably am not going to be using him for anything else so let's see um future ant man yep magneto we've got let's see the gladiator he wants jugs hmm interesting and let's see, Red Skull, Magneto again. Let me see, who does he have me fighting on the, uh... oh, he has not assigned me any of the uh, minis. Let's see, yeah, I don't see myself assigned to any minis, which is fine with me. That gives me even more uh, flexibility here. Let me see. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm good. If they got um, options for them, that's fine. So what I'm going to propose is... Um, Gladiator, first of all. I'll bring in Gladiator, Magneto, and like Titania. I think that'll work. I'll even bring in Ant-Man before I bring in a Human Torch. Although he can do that fight. There's no question about it. Um, 
Okay. We should be good. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. We're going in with Gladiator, Magneto, and Titania. It's so funny how things have changed because I didn't really care for Gladiator when he first came out, but then he got a little bit of a buff, rework. Now, he's my top champion. And every Sig Stone I have uh, for seven stars goes to him until he gets to Sig 200. I use him a lot. And I remember when uh, I was assigned to fight with him, I actually pushed back and was like, no, I don't think I want to do that because I wasn't familiar with him. I had heard at that time that he was much better than he used to be, but I was still unfamiliar. So I said, um, let me look into it a little bit more. And once I did, I ranked him up. He's ranked three. And uh, I forget what SIG he is, but it's over 100 SIG. And he is great for my path. All right, with this fight, Ebony Maw, you ideally want to fight him with someone who is immune to buffs. Because like right there where he fired his special one, it'll put a buff on you even if you don't generate buffs yourself. So like Quicksilver, he doesn't really generate buffs and he's immune to that uh, precision buff on the decks, right? So you would think, well, great. But if Ebony Maw does two back-to-back -back special ones, you're gonna degen anyway, because his first special one will put a uh, fury buff on you. Then his next special one will remove it and you'll get the degen. So you wanna be careful with that. Now, for Ebony Maw, I like fighting him with Titania, Red Guardian, uh, Ant-Man, just OG Ant-Man. Uh, I think I remember telling you guys that I wanted a seven star uh, Ant-Man. If for some reason I can't bring in any of those other uh, two, I will bring in an Ant-Man. I've fought him in war with Ant-Man before. Look, look at Titania, She's just tearing him up, boy. Titania is a beast, let me tell you. Um, Thickums, she is uh, rank two and only reason I probably haven't taken her to rank three is because I'm trying to diversify my rank threes right now. And I have multiples of every class, I think, except tech. So I'll probably take a tech up next. Now, here we go. Gladiator versus gladiator. Will the real gladiator please stand up? All right. The reason I hit into his block while I have that buff, um, after I do my uh, heavy attack, uh, I will build up confidence by hitting either his block or hitting him. And so you'll often see me hit into the block, but I try not to do that because sometimes it's very strange. But sometimes I'll be hitting into the block and it'll act like I did a medium attack. You know, and I'm doing lights. You know, I'll do a medium, light, 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 or light, light, and then dash back. But sometimes it'll read it as a, a medium. And you know what happens if you end your medium combo with uh, against their block? They're going to attack. You. It's just what's going to happen. And that's what usually happens. And I'm just like, ugh. But it's all good. It's all good. All right, now you saw right there, I don't know if you saw, go back. I have 4% of my battery left. I was looking at that and I'm like, mm, I think I can do another uh, fight or so, uh, but it's dangerous because the last thing I want is for the power to go out, you know? And that would be bad. That would be really, really bad. Um, I could have gone and plugged it in and fought that way but i was like i should be able to do this then i'll plug it in and um and we should be good all right so i'm sitting here you know like man let's just just keep going this fight shouldn't take that long i shouldn't drain four percent with this one fight so we should be okay all right so it's just a simple 
basic magneto fight parry heavy him you've seen me do it tons of times all right and so you see here i i had to um i think i i waited it out because i think he got a, a armor up and so i was waiting that out or something like that um because if you don't have pacify uh maxed out even magnetized he may still get an armor up so you just have to watch for that and just wait it out and then continue all right so we took down our future ant-man i don't think i've ever have i ever lost i don't know if i've ever lost to future ant-man when i've used magneto i don't think i have all right so now i my you know battery is is good i i uh charged it up and everything and we're going after this red skull and this red skull is going to be the last fight for me of the war um i didn't get assigned any of the uh minis this time so nice relaxing war just had to worry about my path and that's it all right so we're going to boost up anyway, even though this is just one fight. I don't care. Um, I know we don't have that many fight, um, wars left, so may as well go ahead and do it. And then I look down here, I'm just like, oh, man. And I'm like, well, uh, all right, whatever. You know, let's just fight. Shouldn't take that long. All right. You can see he doesn't have any armor ups. That is because Gladiator has his personal vigilance. He cannot get any armor ups. I now have the clarity, so the auto blocks are failing. I fired off my special two, and it's a wrap now. It's over with. This is just a regular old fight. It's just, I could have done a, a second heavy, but the game said no. So I said, okay, let's just roll with it. That's why you saw me just stand there. I went for a heavy, and he just stood there. So I said, okay, you don't want me to do a heavy? I don't want to do a heavy anymore. We'll just keep going. All right. So pretty straightforward, easy fight for Gladiator. And we'll be back in a few. And you will find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. With this, I believe we are pretty secure in Platinum uh, Platinum 3. All right, so you can see here, what is that? Five attack bonus. Ooh, they did not have full diversity either. Okay, uh, shout out to our MVPs. Now, this war... Um, this alliance, I didn't realize it, but you know, Jay Will of Jason and Jabari Gaming uh, is in this alliance. He was in a master's alliance and he's just taking a little bit of a break. I didn't realize that he joined this alliance for his break. Uh, someone saw him and they said, oh, it looks like we have a creator, you know, a YouTube creator uh, we're going up against. And he was actually in my BG, uh, battle group, um, BG1. And I saw him, I was like, oh, and they were like, does anybody know him? I was like, I know him, <laughs> you know? And they said, give us uh, the link. We, we'd like to see if he puts up war videos and gives any feedback on the uh, defense or anything like that so that they could, you know, maybe get some pointers from him. So I gave him his link. I'm assuming that they um, joined or uh, subscribed. So you got a few more subscribers. All right. Anyway. That is going to do it, guys. Take care. Hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Grant.